Dear students, welcome to Classic Neat Academy. Neat 2023 exam is a great question paper. You can get a great question paper. You can get a MBBS seat. Okay, in physics, there is a grace mark. There is a question that there is a grace mark. How many questions are there? There is a grace mark. Okay, we will see that. Some questions are discussed. Why are there a grace mark? 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 Okay, first one is the question. That is the radius of gyration. The ratio of radius of gyration of the solid sphere of mass M and radius R about its own axis to the radius of gyration of the thin hollow sphere of the same mass and radius about its axis. That is one way very simple. Solid sphere and hollow sphere is the radius of gyration ratio. Okay, what is the grace mark? It's very clear. You can just see that solid sphere is the moment of inertia 2 by 5 mr2. Hollow sphere is 2 by 3 mr2. Radius of gyration is the radius of gyration. That is the moment of inertia is mk2. Then, m into k solid sphere is squared divided by m into radius of gyration of the hollow sphere. The two ratios are the same. In this case, k1 squared by k2 squared is 3 by 5. We have to say that this ratio is the ratio. k1 by k2 is the radius of gyration. So, root 3 is to root 5 is the answer. But what do we say? In 4 choices, there is no root 3 is to root 5. In 4 choices, you can see that all the 4 choices you can see. You can just see that all the four choices you can see, we don't have root 3 is to root 5. That's why we have to go to the other side. We have to give this question a grace mark. If we have to give this question, we have to give this question a grace mark. That's why we have to give this question a grace mark. Even if we have to give this question a grace mark, we have to give this question a grace mark. So, we have to give this question a grace mark. Next question. Even in the E2 question paper, the first question is The minimum wavelength of X-rays This is the name of the name X-rays produced by an electron Accelerated through a potential difference of V volt This is the name of the proportion So, this is the potential difference of V volt what is the proportion of the proportion? That is the wavelength of the proportion. If you look at the question, you can tell the name of the question. What is the name of the question? If you look at the path, you can tell the name of the question. That is the name of the electron. That is the name of the D-Brockley wavelength. 12.27 by root v போட்டு lambda is inversely proportional to root v அந்த answer உங்களுக்கு இங்க available இருக்குது 1 by root v இந்த available இருக்குது பட் இந்த அடத்தில் இத வந்து நம்ம X-ray அப்படிங்கிறது நால் X-ray அப்படிங்கிறது நால் இத வந்து நம்ம வந்து ஒரு photon ஓட energyதா consider பண்ணம் முடிமே உளிய D-Brockley wavelengthன் consider பண்ணம் முடியாது அது நால் இந்த மாதிரி போட अंदर तले E V इक्वल टू H C बाय लैम्डा देन लैम्डा इस इन्वर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू V इंगर ना करेक्ट एन आंसर ये दो रोम्बा सिंपल आना क्वेश्चन आरं दालो नरेय पेर इंद क्वेश्चन तापु पनेर कांगे इधर को वंदे ग्रेस मार्क लाय ये दोंग कड़े आदे इधर के ग्रेस मार्क कड़े आ सिला डर सिला पेर सोली ना� one by V is the correct answer. Okay? Then, one radius of gyration question is the same. Physics, you have a grace mark. Wishing you all the best. Thank you.